Good morning. It is Monday, December 21st, and on this first day of my Christmas break, I'm going to go for a morning run. Just get it done. The real reason is that my wife's working and I'm home with the kids all day, so I don't have the opportunity to leave the house to go for my run during the day, so it's happening in the morning. And that's why I'm wearing this insanely neon yellow jacket. And it's gonna be dark, so I'm bringing a headlamp too. <laughs> As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I'm taking like two weeks off of my day job, which is, I'm really lucky to be able to do that. Uh, the reason why is because things get so crazy with my contracted job that I do uh, audio work at uh, my church. And it's just things get so busy around Christmas time that it just really helps to have some time off of my day job. Uh, and also it's like Christmas time. So I wanna be able to spend more time with the family and everything. But yeah, ran really early this morning. And then I went to the post office to pick up a package that was waiting for me. I have no idea what this is, but somebody sent it to me. So we're gonna open it right here on the channel. So if you do have a business or whatever and you want something featured on this channel, just send it to the address that's in the description in all of my videos. But uh, this one, it's kind of heavy. Oh my gosh, I know what this is. Okay, this is uh, another package from Wilderness Trail Distillery. Uh, Ryan, loving all the content you're putting out. Uh, that's awesome. Here's uh, something for a recovery drink. All right, let's see what this is. All right. First off, ooh, a scarf. Nice, that is awesome. Oh shoot, got like a uh, little like shot glass. That's awesome. Couple of them, sweet. Oh my gosh. You guys have probably seen me wearing uh, this buff in recent videos uh, and that's where it comes from. And here's the big one. I'm opening this very carefully so that I don't like drop it and break it. <laughs> All right, here it is. Oh my gosh. Here we go, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey Barrel Proof. Probably a perfect recovery drink. <laughs> All right, huge shout out to Jared Smith. Thank you so much for sending me this care package from Wilderness Trail Distillery. And this is gonna be perfect for uh, this two week break that I have. So thank you very much. All right, well now we're gonna get to uh, what this video is actually about, probably why you clicked on it. Uh, what the title is, these are my top ultra running videos and movies slash documentaries. This is my recommendation list for you to check out and watch during this Christmas season. I feel like something that's really popular, a lot of people do, is watch a lot of movies during like Christmas season. Uh, and for us runners and ultra runners, we're always looking for something that's gonna really entertain us, but then also something that's like good enough that we can sit down and watch with maybe our family members or friends who are not maybe runners or ultra runners. So I wanted to put together a list of my favorites so that you can check these out. And this is my list of movies, documentaries, 
uh, videos that I've watched over and over over the last couple years. So a lot of times we sit down and watch something because we just wanna be entertained. We wanna see something visually spectacular on the screen and uh, just sit there and just kind of turn our brains off. There's a lot of times we wanna sit down and watch something that's an actual good story. And so that's kind of why I put this list together because all of these have really great stories to go along with the uh, extremely entertaining and exciting visuals that you'll also see on the screen. And that's the balance that I went for with my documentary series running the Triple Crown. I wanted to tell a good story, but also have that visually entertaining side of it. I wanted them to kind of balance each other out. So without introing it anymore, we're gonna jump into it. The first one is a documentary that came out in 2012. This was about the 2010 running of the Western States Endurance Run, and it's called Unbreakable. I actually have the physical DVD of this. Like you can see it in here, there it is. That's the real thing. This is a film by J.B. Benna, and it follows Killian Jornet, Hal Corner, Anton Kropichka, and Jeff Rose as they race at the front of the race. Uh, it follows them from a little bit before the day, all through the day, and it's just a really, really insightful look into kind of like what Western States is, what it was in 2010. Just recently, JB Benna and Journey Film decided to release it for free on YouTube. So I have a link down below where you can watch this whole thing on YouTube. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this DVD, like seven or eight years ago. Highly recommend this film, it's really great. I think you'll like it a lot too if you're into ultra running. So the next one on this list is really, it's a it's just a short film, 22 minutes long, uh, documentary about the Hard Rock 100. And I'm not kidding when I say this, I've probably watched this 50 times over the last couple years. I actually bought it when it was for sale years ago. Now it's free on Vimeo uh, and it's called Kissing the Rock. And it's a film by Matt Trappy. And this is just a really great, uh, just kind of like picture of the Hard Rock 100. It tells a lot about the history and then it follows some runners through the race, uh, some front of the pack, some back of the pack, young, old. It's just a really, really great film. 22 minutes long, get you pumped up to go out to run and will probably really make you wanna run the Hard Rock 100. <laughs> All right, the next one on this list is a film that probably every single person has asked you if you've seen the first time they hear that you run ultra marathons. And it's called The Barkley Marathons, The Race That Eats Its Young. It's on Netflix. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but uh, again, when this first came out, I bought it on iTunes uh, and then it went to Netflix. So you can watch it for free if you have Netflix. <laughs> I'm guessing most of you have seen this one already, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but if you're just getting into ultra running, or if you're one of the few ultra runners who have never seen this movie, go watch it. It's about an extremely exciting year of the Barkley Marathons. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> the next one is also about the Barkley Marathons, and it's a film by the ginger runner, Ethan Newberry, and it's called Where Dreams Go to Die. And this one is something that I followed from the very beginning when I, I knew he was down there filming it. This film centers around Gary Robbins and his family, Family and uh, the several attempts that he's had uh, to finish the Barkley Marathons over the last couple years. And it's just a really great look into his life and what it takes to actually even attempt to pull off a finish at the Barkley Marathons. It's free on YouTube, go check it out. So all of these so far have been free on YouTube or sort of free if you have Netflix. But the next two that I'm gonna recommend are ones that you do have to pay for, but I would totally recommend it. Uh, they're both by a filmmaker named Joel Wolpert. And the first one is called Outside Voices. It follows an ultra runner named Jen Shelton. And it's in black and white, beautiful film. And she's obviously not without controversy. So by recommending this film, I'm not recommending her or everything she stands for. And this film is really different than any of the others on this list. You know, most ultra running films and movies and documentaries are like, they show all the really hard parts about running and the sacrifices that people make, but you know, they're also really happy and they show you overcoming things. Well, this film, it reminds me a lot of a tragedy. It's a film about a really, really broken person with a lot of flaws but it shows that through all of that, she can still find happiness in running 100 miles. And uh, I mean, it's just a really beautiful film. Um, and it kind of like follows her through her life a little bit through her life training for the Bear 100. And then it does show some race footage of that. So, you know, it's one that it's, some people, it might not sit well with some people because of who the main character is, but it's a really great film and I would definitely recommend you to check it out. And the next one by the same filmmaker is a film called In the High Country. And it's about, the subject is about someone that a lot of people really like. His name's Anton Kropichka. Uh, and 
this is a really great one. It's just really about life in the mountains and kind of like where Anton comes from and where he is now and just how he, like his philosophy on running and his training. And uh, I just think it's a really, really great look into his life and how he might not be running ultra marathons now, uh, but when he was, he was at the top of his game and this kind of captures him in that moment. And so I would definitely recommend this one as well. And the last two on this list are more race recap videos, but they're videos that I've watched over and over again. And they give you a really good insight into what it's like to run both of these races. The first one is called My Fourth Hard Rock 100 Run, and it's by Jameel Curry, Run Steep, Get High. And it's a really unique one because he, at the beginning, he attempts to film every mile of the race. And so it gives you a really, really good look at what a lot of the course looks like. And unfortunately you don't get to see every mile of the course because of something that happens in the video, but I still really recommend this. Uh, it just gives you a really, really great look into what the course of the Hard Rock 100 looks like. The last one on this list is by Billy Yang and it's called From Squaw to Auburn. And it's about his first time running the Western States 100. Uh, starts off with him getting a phone call, telling him that he's in it. Uh, he was actually working, filming at another race and he got a call from someone. He didn't even see the lottery. And then it just kind of goes through his training and actually racing on the day. Uh, it's just a really good look into what it's like to run the Western States for your first time, which hopefully all of us will do one day. <laughs> all right, well, that's it. My list of videos, movies, films, whatever you want to call them, that you should watch if you're getting into ultra running. Uh, and maybe a few that you haven't seen if you are already really into ultra running. Uh, there's some really popular ones on this list and there's ones that probably not many people have really seen. But right now, go ahead and put your favorite ultra running movie or video show in the comments down below. If I haven't seen it, I will watch it over the next couple weeks. Oh, well, I'll try to. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to check out something new. Uh, and if there's something that didn't make this list, it doesn't mean that I haven't seen it or didn't like it. It just means that I didn't have time to put it in this video. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you're new to ultra running, uh, good luck going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> and for all of you that have been here for a while, I hope you enjoy watching some of these for the second time. I will see you again soon. Bye.